Well, this Saturday, September 14th, marks the 100th anniversary of the 1919 hurricane that hit Corpus Christi. It was a storm that killed hundreds of people, many of whom drowned in the huge tidal surge that destroyed the downtown area. The storm is also the subject of a book written by two local historians. Our Michael Gibson spoke with one of those authors today. And you can see the much of the area is totally swept clean. It, it sort of reminds you, doesn't it remind you of what happened to the Bahamas? Jim Maloney was comparing the hurricane damage from the 1919 hurricane that hit Corpus Christi with that of Dorian. Maloney knows so much about our local history that he decided to write a book on that 1919 storm with Murphy Givens. And with the 100th anniversary of that deadly storm coming up this Saturday, he and Givens have decided to do a second printing of their book detailing that tragic event. We got a 14, 12 to 14 foot tidal wave uh, came across or and filled the city and North Beach with water and some of those homes floated and uh, four were demolished by the waves. The official death toll was 284 people killed in the 1919 hurricane. But Maloney says through his research, he believes up to 750 people could have really died. Hundreds of those victims are buried here at the Rose Hill Cemetery. Susan Delmonico works at the cemetery and says on Saturday they will hold a remembrance for the victims here at the cemetery beginning at 8.30 in the morning. We're pleased to be having a service. We'll have a pastor and we'll have a priest and um, a lot of activities in coordination with the um, uh, history museum. Jim Maloney is hoping to see a lot of people show up to the museum. He's one of the featured speakers who promises to have many stories about that hurricane and some of those tales of those who survived one of the deadliest storms to ever hit our state. Michael Gibson, 3 News. And of course, that was before they started naming hurricanes, yeah. well before that. And so the winds were 115. Yep. When it made landfall near Baffin Bend, it was a mess. Tell you. All right. Well